and through the New Life Fellowship or through Church of God or Assemblies of God or or uh, or the Holiness Movement or, or whatever you, your, your ordination paper says, that's not the importance. Let's put that aside right now and let's, let's, let's focus on how hungry, how burdened are we to see souls walk down this aisle and get to that altar and cry out to God and repent. And I mean repent and turn the life over and get up changed. See, we, we, we go to the altar and, and then we get up and, and the church world has got so, so mindset to negativity that when the moment they get up, we think they ought to be changed that moment. Uh, people is bound by things. People are addicted to things. People don't even really realize what they're addicted to is one of the reasons they're, we're not seeing them walk down the aisles or, or crying out for help is they don't realize how bound they are. And it's bound in the mind. But we look at people and they get up from the altar when the presence of God draws them there. And we, the church, then at that moment, then take them when they get up from the altar, we think they should know everything. We think they should be completely, have the knowledge of understanding of everything. But the thing is, it's our requirement and we have allowed generations to go and slip through our hands as preachers and pastors and ministries and not being properly connected and properly trained up and taught the word of God. Why do we believe what we believe? Why is it that we stand upon them? Why is it that we that we believe this? Pastor, preacher, ministries, why is it that you believe? Why do you do what you do? And we ought to be able to take them and train them in the word of God because how can we make disciples if we never train them and teach them? Jesus was a full example that he took them, trained them, taught them, poured his heart into his disciples. And what did they do? When he went back to heaven, what did they do? They then carried forth what he wanted to see fulfilled here on earth. You and I now are that people that he is wanting us to capture his heart, to capture his purpose, his destiny that he's wanting to do on earth. And if we don't get grounded and get a foundation in the word of God, every wind that comes by every way is going to toss us to and fro and we're not going to be able to stand. We're going to be here and gone. There, gone. And we're just going to be, in other words, as I've been saying here recently, hip hopping everywhere and never get grounded, never stand up and never get built up as a strong spiritual house. You don't have all the time you think you need. God's calling you right now, sir, ma'am, boy, and girl. God's calling you to rise up and be all you can be.